Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be going over the Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power, the opening stage event. Now, uh, real quick, there are two new farmable units, it's Kel and Khalifla, and there is a new Doken Awakening for the free-to-play Kaba. We're going to talk about both of these two units, and we're going to talk about Kaba and how to get him all the way from his base form, from his first event, from the Universe 6 event, to now when he Doken Awakens to Super Saiyan 2. Uh, a couple things that are notable, Super Saiyan Kaba, Doken Awakens to Super Saiyan 2 Kaba, so you can run the two of them on the same team. Uh, Kale is a very, very useful unit on a Universe 6 team. She is also, I'm oh, sorry, it's a Universe Survival team. Um, she is also not the same title as her Berserk form, so you cannot increase the super attack. Khalifla is the same title as her agility form, so you could increase super attack there, but we'll talk about all that in a little bit. I just wanted to get that out of the way for those of you who are just looking for that uh, quick information. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the actual event. Level 1 finally kicking off the Tournament of Power. Uh, just some training items here, nothing really to go too crazy about. One Dragonstone per drop. Level 2, tur uh, Awaken Turbulent Berserker. This is where you're going up against Kel and Khalifla. This is where you get your Khalifla drop. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting her up to Super Attack 10 and Doken Awakening her. Even if you don't want to use a free-to-play unit, you could increase the Super Attack of your Khalifla with this unit. So I would definitely recommend getting at least 9 of them to get Doken Awakened if that's what you're looking into doing in order to feed into the agility Khalifa if you happen to have her, if you already didn't use like Elder Kai's or Grand Supreme Kai's on them. Anyway, so that's what this is. She drops up to two on her Z hard stage. Good luck on that grind. I am not doing it on the JP side myself, but when it comes to global, I probably will. Uh, level three, Looming Warrior of Justice. This is where you get your Kales. Kales is going to be available up to two drops on Z hard, and you get one Dragonstone, obviously, per level. Actually, I think this entire thing, you get one Dragonstone per level uh, that you beat, or two, two Dragonstones, technically, per level, depending on if there's one or two stages within that level. Uh, next one is level four, uh, Female Warrior, Witch of Universe 2. You just get some Hercule statues, which is kind of worth it if you were lacking some Zenny. You can go ahead and grind that out, especially if you have an AoE. Just bring your AoE team and just nuke everything on the field. A level 5 Goku vs. Jiren. I think this is the only one that you have one actual level at. It's a Z hard level. There's no normal stage to it. Um, it drops Awakening Medals, so you can go ahead and get them. Are there any of the Kai Medals or Supreme Kai Elder Kai Medals? So you have chances to get all of them. They drops one per stage. It looks like it's guaranteed. Uh, you go up against that. looks pretty simple. Uh, level 6. Saiyan Oath. Um, this is where you get your Kaba medals, so Doken Wake and your Kaba drops up to two. Level seven is the final and last one, another enthusiastic Saiyan battle. This is where you get your medals for Khalifa and Kel. Highly recommended. This is going to be a pain in the butt level, by the way, for those of you, especially for those of you who are trying to get Kel up to Super Attack 10, um, just because it's a 50-50 between the drops between these two. And if you're trying to get Khalifa all the way up to Super Attack 10 using this method, man, I really feel bad for you. But hey, you know what? Go ahead. Good luck and good luck on that grind. Doken is notorious for the grind fest. Uh, that's what these are available for. Um, there's a whole couple other things here, additional information. Characters from the Universe Survival Saga category increase the chance of an extra drop. So you can go ahead and bring Universe Survival Team. I did do a team building guide with Jiren the other day, so you can go ahead and check that video out. Stage 5. After 3 charges, Goku will use Spirit Bomb and acquire Ultra Instinct Sign Form, and you'll be able to damage Jiren. Now, I haven't personally done this. I'm assuming that means you cannot damage Jiren for 3 turns. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that. I don't know how it is. Um, I have Again, I haven't played. But um, that's what this looks like, so go ahead, good luck. It doesn't seem like, again, it doesn't seem too hard. Bring an agility team just so you can tank a little bit better. Mission rewards. Clear all stages on normal. Looks like you get one of each Z-Sword. Clear all stages on Z-Hard. Looks like you get a... I guess these are Platinum Turtle Shells. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. It does look like it is platinum. Yes, it is. Uh, clear stage 2 on Z-Hard 1, 3, 7, 10, and 15 times. And it looks like you get a whole bunch of Khaliflas. It looks like on 10 and 15, you get the Z-Awaken versions of yourselves. Clear stage 3 on Z-Hard 1, 3, and 5 times, you get 1 of Kale. Clear stage 6 on Z-Hard, you get a Kaba medal. Stage 7, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 10 times, it looks like you get a whole bunch of Khalifla medals. And stage 7 on Z-Hard, 15, 20, and 30 times, you get more Khaliflas. I guess they all are assuming you're going to be grinding out Khalifa for Super Attack 10. It's actually kind of funny. Um, on stage 7 on Z-Hard, with at least two cards from Universe Survival Saga category, you get a whole bunch of Gregory... Bubbles and Jiro medals. With at least three cards, you get a whole bunch. It looks like you get Awakening medals at every single level, up to five cards. And if you run a full Universe Survival Saga team on level seven, you get an Elder Kai. So good luck on that. Remember that um, the Kale and Khalifa are part of that category, so you can grind them out. And once you do link them, if you haven't, if you weren't able to, you should at least be able to bring an additional four members to this event with you. 
um, plus Kaba. Remember, so if you you go and grind out Kaba, then you definitely have enough because then you'll have the base form Kaba, you'll have the Super Saiyan Kaba, and Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. There's no excuses here, guys. <laughs> but that's the actual event. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about the Kaba. First off, Kaba is available from this event, Dragon Ball Super Universe 6 Saga. So, you're going to get the base form here. It looks like his base form is going to be available on level 6, the Saiyan of Universe 6. You get him, you're going to need some Vados, Champa, and Vegeta medals. So, Vados medals are going to be available on level 2, and then you have Vegeta on stage 7, and you have Champa on level 8 in order to Doken Awaken to Super Saiyan. This is his base form, Saiyan from Universe 6, Kaba. He's a tech type leader, HP attack and defense plus 20%. His passive is attack plus 40% with, uh, with super, uh, when performing a super attack. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. You're going to Doken Awaken him into a Super Saiyan with those medals that I talked to you about. You're going to need 10 Vegeta, 8 Champa, and 8 Vados medals. Doken Awaken is the Pride Awaken Super Saiyan Kaba. Now, he has been a really decent unit for a free to play tech team. I do run him on all the Prime Battles, that's the Frieza and the Goku events. So you can definitely utilize him. He's very useful. Leader ability, tech type, HP attack, and defense plus 30%. He does extreme damage, Galak on passive skills, attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Um, and a 12 key multiplier of 100 35 percent he now doken awakens from what we just talked about a little bit earlier um into the super saiyan 2 cop with 10 of his medals now again his medals are going to be available on stage 6 saiyan oath you can go ahead doken awaken him into connected power and pride super saiyan 2 kaba leader abilities tech type key plus 2 hp attack and defense plus 30 percent Su supreme damage to the enemy now which is awesome super attack is a meaning of a saiyan passive skill is truthful roll Attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, which is actually really good for a free-to-play unit. And for every universe, survival, saga, ally on your team, you increase the chance of performing a critical hit by 7% up to 49%. We're going to round that to 50%. That is ridiculous for a passive skill. I really wish they gave this to more people. Um, so he essentially has a 50% chance of critting, and that does not include giving him dupe system if you plan on doing that. Now, personally, I'm not gonna recommend that you give him dupe system, but if you are one of those people who are completely free to play or prefer having free to play, or if you just like Kaba, um, you can definitely do that. Give him some dupe system. Um, you're gonna have a 50% chance to proc based off of his passive if you're running a universe survival saga team. And you also have the other additional percentage to have a chance to crit if you happen to do that. Now, it doesn't stack, so if you get like a full, like give him full crit, it doesn't add on top of the 49%. You're going to have like a 49% chance to go off. If that doesn't go off, then your other dupe system is going to have a chance to go off. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to do the dupe system if you happen to do that. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Shattering the Limit, Universe, Warriors of Universe 6, and Tournament of Power. Overall, some basic Saiyan links that most Super Saiyans are going to have. And obviously, um, universe, uh, Warrior, Warriors of Universe 6 slash Tournament of Power um, skills. His category is Universe Survival Slot, which is really useful. His max or base dupe system is going to be HP of 8651, attack of 7416, and defense of 4661. Again, I'm not going to recommend doing dupe system. If you want to go ahead and pause the video to read the rest of his stats, you can go ahead and do that. Personally, I don't think it's worth it because free-to-play uh, units do not get most a lot of uh, buffs in the dupe system. He does have a 12 key multiplier of 140%. In terms of best linking buddies in game, let's go over here real quick and switch into this. Um, it looks like, you know, basic Super Saiyan stuff. You're going to have the Majin Vegeta he links with four key links with Goku Jr. Um, you have Kel, Kal well, yeah, it looks like Khalifla, Kefla, and Kel, which is obvious. He does link. If you saw my other video um, with these units over here, then I did. You will see that he was all listed on those for best linking buddies. Five with Khalifla because she, they, they link very well together, mostly key and a Super Saiyan uh, buff. Um, in terms of other units, it looks like you have a Gohan, you have two kid GT Gokus, and a GT Vegeta. Mostly because all these guys just have like Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Prepared for Battle, um, Shattering Limit, or something like that. Um, actually, I don't think he has Prepared for Battle. So, yeah, he doesn't. He has Shattering the Limit. So, either way, that's still a useful link skill. Um, so these are going to be his best uh, linking buddies. Obviously, you're not going to have the most common links with him to run with him. Um, on a team, or at least these units are not going to be on the same team you're going to usually run him on. Um, overall, not bad, but I mean, if you have, if you only have Majin Vegeta, uh, Majin Vegeta or Tech GT Vegeta, um, I guess we can switch over here now to the uh, Tech team. You have the GT Vegeta, you have Majin Vegeta, and you have his Super Saiyan variant. Um, they all link very well. Obviously, his Super Saiyan variant is going to link the best with. I think he shares everything except for Shattering the Limit. Um, let's see, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blood. Uh, Saiyan Pride, Universal Warrior 6, and I guess Power, uh, what's a uh, Universe of Survival? So that's what? 
three, four, five, six, seven key total, and a 25% attack buff. Not that bad if you want to link him with himself, especially for a free-to-play team. These two are going to be really good for a prime battle tech team. Definitely recommend running those two together. You also have this OG Majin Vegeta, which isn't really that useful anymore, but he does link with him, and the GT Vegeta as well. Um, I think if we lower this down to like three, he links with a lot more people over here. Yeah, he does. I kept it off just because there's just way too many, but it's just because it's all basic common stuff. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, um, and it was like shattering the limit or something like that, or Saiyan Pride. So basically any type of Super Saiyan on your tech team, he's going to link very, very, very well with. Um, we're going to go ahead and move back over here to the next one. Now, this is going to be the Khalifa that drops. Khalifa, strong competitive spirit, Khalifa. Leader ability is strength type, HP attack and defense plus 30%. She does extreme damage with her energy blast, super attack, passive skill, older sister. For every universe survival saga um, ally on your team, attack plus 15% up, up to 45%. Now, that's kind of whack in my opinion, but she has a chance to evade enemies attack on top of that up to 30%. So that's actually pretty cool, pretty useful. Um, again, it's not that much, but once you do Oaken Awaken, she gets better. Link skills are Super uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Universe of Warrior 6, and Tournament of Power. Uh, she's part of the Peppy Gals and Universe Survival Saga category. And her max stats are HP of 7330, Attack of 6052, and Defense of 4020. She has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now, mind you, this is an SR. Again, she's not going to have that much in order to, you know, doke or to do that much damage. She only requires five metals to doke and awaken, and she doke and awakens into her Super Saiyan 2 variant. She's motivated for battle Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa. Her leader ability is now strength type, key plus two, HP attack, and defense plus 30%. So she's not that bad of a leader. Not great, but not horrible. She'll be good for brand new players who are looking to take on OG events. Um, you'll definitely be able to take it on with her. Uh, new world events, definitely not. Super attack is energy blast, supreme damage to the enemy, and defense raises for 30% for one turn. Not bad. She gets a nice little bit of defense buff. Now, her passive skill, super positive, becomes so much better. Uh, for every universe survival saga ally on your team, attack plus 20% up, up to 80%, and chance of evading enemies attack plus 15% up to 60%. That is ridiculous. So for a universe survival saga team, you literally you dodge more than 50% of the time. In terms of who to run on a team, um, oh man, that's such a difficult decision. I mean, we're going to do a little bit of a comparison. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But um, that, that's just ridiculous. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Prepare for Battle, Torment of Power, and Universe of Warrior 6. Um, War Universe of, Warriors of Universe 6. So um, honestly, this is what's going to help her out the most. Super Saiyan, Prodigies, and Prepare for Battle. Those are her three most common Link skills. So essentially, almost any Vegeta... Um, yeah, almost any Vegeta is going to link very, very well with her. She is part of the category Universe, Survival Saga, and Peppy Gals. Max stats are HP of 8035, Attack of 6879, and Defense of 4384. I don't know if you'd ever give her a dupe system or not, but if you happen to do so, you can go ahead and pause the video so that way you can go ahead and read this, or you can just go over the wiki. By the way, shout out to the wiki because I did not do that in the beginning of the video. Uh, I, I usually use Dragon Ball Z Wiki, Dokkan Battle Wiki, in order for me to go over all the units. Um, she has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, 35%, sorry, 135, and can be farmed to increase the super attack of the agility one. Now, the agility one has a 50% chance to dodge built into her passive skill. And honestly, looking at this right now, attack plus 70%, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, um, supreme damage to enemy, defense plus 30% for one turn. Um, I think that these two are spitting images of each other. She just has a better chance to dodge, and she gets a nice attack buff, um, 80%. She only gets 70%, and so she has... So, yo, what, what's up with this? Um, I think maybe the only thing that's different is she has less Link skills. So, it's Super Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan War... Well, she doesn't have Saiyan Warrior Race, but that's not that bad. Super Saiyan Battlefield Diva, Super Saiyan Battlefield Diva, um, Warriors Universe 6, Golden Warrior. So she doesn't have Golden Warrior, but still, it doesn't matter. Tournament of Power, Prepare for Battle. So, she's still... I, that's so odd that she gets better stats. I mean, well, better passives anyway. Um, in terms of her stats, let's see. It does look like the agility one gets better stats overall. That does make sense. I guess this one can block a little bit more because she gets 200 added to her uh, blocking power. Um, and I'm assuming the 12 key multiplier, yeah, 5% more. But honestly, for a free-to-play unit, she she is better in terms of her passive ability. I Honestly, I'm probably going to recommend running her um, on a universe survival saga category team over her agility counterpart. And I didn't do that on the universe survival build. I didn't realize how much better this this strength Khalifa was. That's pretty insane if you think about it. So, um, really awesome unit. 
Um, now let's go over here real quick and let's take a look at her best linking buddies. Let's go ahead and switch the view. There we go. Now, as typical, it's going to be uh, Kale, Kefla, and Kaba are going to be your best linking buddies for Universe Survival, also Universe 6. The other ones that she's going to link well with, obviously, like I said before, are going to be the Vegetas. She links with all of these Vegetas for the same link skills, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, and Prepared for Battle, and this Super Saiyan Vegeta as well. So, uh, yeah, exactly, Prodigies, Super Saiyan, and Prepared for Battle. So that's what she links with with all these guys um, and the Universe Survival Saga category. If you're looking for Mono Strength, she really doesn't have that much. She just has the Vegetas. Now, these are the two same Vegetas. This one is just a Dokkan variant of this one. Um, so you have the Super Support Unit Kaba. Um, same thing, unit, well, six, Universe of Warrior 6, uh, Prepared for Battle and Super Sand, and then the same thing with these two Vegetas as before. So obviously for a Mono Strength team, she's not going to be that great. For a Universe Survival team, she will be better linked with her Kel. Kefla or Kaba teammates. Um, so that's about it. Really awesome unit. I can't believe she's a little bit better than her agility unit. It's really up to you on how you want to play that at that point, if it's going to even be worth increasing the super attack of the agility unit. I guess it would base be based off of team building what event you're going up against. Now, last but not least, Conflicted Female Saiyan Kale. Um, she is an intelligence unit. Her leader ability is intelligence type, HP, attack, and defense, whoops, uh, plus 30%. Her super attack is Resist Cannon, Extreme Damage to the Enemy. Passive skill, Khalifa's Protégé. Universe Survival sa Saga Category, Key plus 1, Attack and Defense plus 20%. So yes, she is a support unit specific to Universe Survival Saga, so she's only going to be useful for that team. But man, when she do can wake she becomes so much better. Link skills are so, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Battlefield Diva, Rival Duo, Warriors of Universe 6, and Tournament of Power. Category is Universe Survival Saga and Peppy Gals. Max stats are HP of 7610, attack of 5772, and defense of 4230, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Shidoken awakens with five of her own medals, as we talked about before, and Shidoken awakens into Greater Mind and Body Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Again, the title's different. She does not feed into her Berserker physical form at all. So do not think you're going to be able to Doken Awaken her um, and feed her into that unit. Um, go ahead and, I mean, if you if she's a support unit, so you really don't need to give her any dupe system. But if you do, I would probably give her the most dodge just because she's a support unit. And she has no attack buffs whatsoever. Uh, her leader ability is intelligence. Now her leader ability is intelligence type key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, super attack is supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Uh, passive skill, Khalifa's Approval. Universe Survival Saga category, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva, Rival Duo, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Prepared for Battle. A whole bunch of key there. Her categories are Universe Survival Saga and Peppy Gals. Uh, she has max stats of HP of 83.45, attack of 65.69, and defense of 46.16. Again, if you're interested in dupe system, go ahead and pause the video so you can check out the stats or go check out the wiki. Um, she has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. And that's about it. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, she's going to obviously, again, um, as stated before, she's going to only really link very well with the Universe 6 guys, really specifically gals in this case. Um, she links well with Kefla, with Khalifa, and with her own Berserk form. Um, so you can go ahead and link her with any of these. She shares four or more link skills with these guys. I did have three set up over here. Let's go ahead and switch over to Dokkan Battle Builder view. Um, let's go over here to three. When you add three, it just adds Kaba into the mix, which we all kind of already knew. So you can go ahead and mix there as well. Um, overall, that's really all that she is useful for. Um, she's only a support unit, so she's going to be viable for that Jiren team if you're going to go ahead and run that Jiren team or build that Jiren team. That's all she's going to really be useful for. Um, in terms of her mono intelligence team, I mean, this is she only links two or more. She does not link it with anyone for more than three key. So she's not going. You should not even be considering her for a mono intelligence team unless you require one for like a free to play event like a prime battle. Or if you don't have any, any, I mean any other free to play units. I mean, even some strike event characters would probably be better than her. But again, it's up to you on what you want to do. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you exactly what you need to do with your teams, but I'm trying to give you the most information. But anyway, those are the units. In terms of a Universe Survival Saga category team, this one is definitely useful. They're actually all really useful, and I would definitely recommend running them all on a team. Um, if, you know, depending on who you are actually able to summon and what teams you can run the best. 
I mean, obviously, if you're going to have, like, the Berserker Kale and Kefla, you're probably not going to want to run uh, the, the free-to-play Khalifla or something like that. But this Kale, definitely going to be useful. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, Kaba is cool as well. Uh, I just wouldn't run him as a primary unit, even though he does get a nice attack buff and the chance to crit's really nice. Um, again, he's free-to-play, and there's definitely better units that you can run. Uh, it's really up to you. But anyway, guys, go ahead and check out that video if you want to. Um, I did release it a couple days ago. Maybe I'll add it in um, to the end of the video so that way you can go ahead and click on it if you want to watch that team building guide that I did with Jiren and the Universe Survival Saga category. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.